Um, for me, ah! I like to get it everywhere, apparently. I just spilt it all. <laughs> Welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today I want to do another cook with me video and we're gonna explore together once again. Today I wanna make with you guys a buffalo chicken mac and cheese, a completely vegan buffalo chicken mac and cheese. When I heard about this, I was like, that sounds absolutely delicious. I need to try it. So I am gonna make my own little vegan version of this and I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous, but mostly excited. I think it's gonna be tasty. So hopefully you guys are excited as well. I think we're just gonna jump right into it. By the way, the recipe, if I do succeed, will be linked in a blog post down below with all the measurements I used and everything. So don't forget to check that out. That'll be linked down below and you can make this at home as well. All right, let's jump right into it. All right, you guys, so first thing we're gonna do is prepare our buffalo chicken, okay? Now, what I wanna do is make a buffalo chicken with my favorite thing, of course, which is soy curls. If you guys have not heard of soy curls, it's basically vegan meat, okay? It is basically dehydrated pieces of soy meat that you rehydrate, and then it becomes basically like a chickeny sort of thing. And I've already rehydrated my soy curls. I'll leave some links down below as to where you can buy soy curls, but I love them. I think they make such a good meat replacement. I love that it's high in protein as well. So you're still getting that protein. So that's what we're gonna use. So we have some soy curls. I've already soaked them. They're already softened. I've drained the water. I've squeezed it out a little bit. And now what I wanna do with this recipe is I wanna bread the soy curls before I toss it in like a buffalo sauce, okay? So let's do that. We're gonna put the soy curls aside for a second and then I have here some flour. Okay, we're gonna make a batter. We have a flour here. We're gonna throw in some water. You can also use like a non-dairy milk but I find that water works fine. And then I'm just gonna whisk this, okay? And we're just gonna kind of create like a smooth batter sort of situation, okay? I might, I may have used too much water actually. I'm gonna add just a little bit more flour because I think I added a little too much water. So we want like a batter to be thick enough so that it kind of sticks to the soy curls. I think this should be good. So I normally would want it to be a little bit more thick. You know what, not a little bit more. I think I did not measure this properly. <laughs> so we want that kind of creamy looking batter. What I'm actually gonna do is I might add a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt in here, okay? Just to flavor it a little bit. You can add other spices as well, but because we're gonna be covering it with like buffalo sauce, I think we'll be fine. And then we also have some breadcrumbs. I have a mixture of panko breadcrumbs and also some like homemade breadcrumbs. So what we're gonna do is basically, we're gonna dip the soy curls into the batter, then dip it into the breadcrumbs. And then of course, we're gonna air fry the soy curls. Now you can air fry it, but you can also pan fry it with some oil if that's what you want. You can also throw it in the oven. That's gonna take a bit longer. We're gonna air fry it. I feel like that's my favorite way of making everything. So. Let's just see if we can just kind of like throw this in. So we have our soy curls. I'm just gonna throw it in here. I think you can also do this with tofu. So if you wanna do it with like an extra firm tofu, you could do that. So I'm just gonna like toss the soy curls in this lovely uh, batter and then we're just gonna chuck it in here. See how that goes. Okay. Ooh, ooh. See now, because of the little batter, your breadcrumbs should kind of stick nicely to the soy curls, okay? So I'm just gonna I do wish my breadcrumbs were a little bit less. I feel like they, they could be a little bit finer. I should have ground it up more. Again, um, I think one thing I would do, maybe next time, ooh, maybe I'll do this. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, okay, we're squeezing it together. That's an interesting method. Let's do that. Quote the soy curls. Okay, we're getting in like, we're making like bigger pieces. Okay, okay. We're making kind of bigger pieces of soy meat. Um, now I'm gonna batter the rest and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. So um, I have kind of, you know, switched up my initial train of thought. So I kind of made them into like, you know, bigger pieces. 
I think the flour and water mixture definitely needed to be thicker. So yeah, but I think, you know what? This might be interesting, okay? We'll see how it turns out, okay? I'm gonna like grease a little bit. I'm just gonna spray a few little bits of oil on each piece just to make it, you know, tasty. I'm gonna throw this in the air fryer. Let's air fry it at 370 degrees for about like, I'm gonna say eight minutes. All right, you guys, so now we're going to make our mac and cheese sauce. I already have a recipe on this, and I've probably shown you guys this a few times, but this is my favorite mac and cheese sauce. It doesn't use any vegan cheese. For recipes like this, I generally don't like to use like vegan cheeses or too many substitutes because I feel like then it's not really a vegan recipe, if that makes sense. Like, do you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you know what I'm saying. Of course, you can just find vegan cheese and throw it in there and call it a vegan mac and cheese, which is fine, but in case you can't get vegan cheese, this is, this is what you can make. So I have here some cashews that I have soaked already and they have um, already softened. So what you want to do is soften your cashews. You can either do that by soaking them overnight with water or you could just boil some cashews with water for about 15 to 20 minutes just to soften them. So I already have them softened. So I'm going to throw them into a blender. Okay. And then we also want to add in some non-dairy milk. We have some lemon juice. We have some Dijon mustard. Ooh, I need a spatula. By the way, at this point, you wanna be boiling your pasta because now it's gonna be pretty quick, okay? So after you make your buffalo chicken, you can boil your pasta. So then we have some nutritional yeast, very important. We have some uh, paprika. You can also use smoked paprika. We have some turmeric for that yellow color. Some garlic powder, salt, and I'm gonna throw in some actual garlic as well. Now, sometimes I like to pan fry the garlic a little bit, let it get all nice and golden, kind of like roast it a little bit, and then throw it in. But today I'm gonna experiment with just putting it in. I think it'll still be fine. There you go, there is the sauce. Now I'm gonna blend this up until it's nice and smooth. Actually, hmm, I wanna add in some Frank's hot sauce. So I wanna add in some buffalo sauce, but I'm thinking, no, let's stir it in later. First, let's make our just original mac and cheese sauce, and then we can throw in however much buffalo sauce we want. Let's blend! All right, you guys, so now here is the sauce. Look at this thick, delicious, creamy sauce, okay? Now, if you wanna make it a little bit thinner, you can add in a little bit more non-dairy milk or maybe some water, but um, I really like it. Let's give it a little taste. Mm. It is so good. Now though, we want to add in some buffalo sauce. Let's start with a quarter cup of buffalo sauce. Because we're making buffalo mac and cheese, remember? Let's throw it in. Let's blend it up again. All right, it is smelling nice and buffalo-y. I'm gonna give it another little taste. Mmm! That is tasty. So now we can pretty much put it together. We're still waiting for the chicken, but I think we can put the mac and cheese together before the chicken is done. Let's do it. All right, guys, so I checked on the chicken. Well, what I did was I switched the trays. So basically you wanna flip over or switch or whatever, toss it, and I added another five minutes. So that's what we're doing. And in the meantime, let's mix together our delicious mac and cheese. So I've got the macaroni already boiled. We're gonna add it into a nice casserole dish, okay? Ooh, lovely. And now we can mix in our sauce. Ooh. Not sure if I'll need all of it. Let's just see here. Mmm, you guys. Does that not look delicious? I don't like to waste any sauce, so we gotta dig in. Now some people, I've seen I've seen a few different of these like buffalo chicken recipes, like non-vegan ones. And some people just put like normal like chicken into the sauce and just put like buffalo sauce. But I wanted to make, you know, a little bit more of a special one instead of just putting in like soy curls in here. That's why I wanted to bread the soy curls, okay? And now another option is if you wanted to, you could throw in some vegan cheese in here as well. And you could also throw that in the oven for a little bit and let that become nice and melted. That's an option. But again, I wanted to keep this like free of vegan cheese so that we're making our own. That addition of the buffalo sauce just adds a really nice, like tiny kick of flavor, you know? It's not even that spicy. I know some people are more 
what do you call it, less tolerant of spice. But yeah, you can adjust however much you wanna add. I added a little bit because we're gonna be adding more sauce later. So, whilst I lick the blender, we're waiting for the vegan chicken. See you in a bit. <laughs> So now our vegan chicken, let me just show you. It's, you know what, it kind of worked out. You know what, like I liked my little method. It looks nice and crispy. I feel like there's gonna be some layers. Try like squeezing, okay? Putting it together with the flour. It, it like kind of molds it together. Anyways, I mean, you could just toss the vegan chicken with your Frank's red hot sauce, okay? But I kind of want to make it a little bit more indulgent by mixing together, because I think like real buffalo sauce, you mix the um, buffalo sauce with butter. So we're gonna do vegan butter, okay? So I'm using, I don't know, let's do like, okay. We're doing that. And then maybe we're gonna add in half a cup of Frank's red hot sauce. Just gonna turn it down a little bit. I gotta open up another bottle, guys. I go through this stuff way too fast. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Throw that in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You can mix in maybe other sauces to make it less spicy. Um, for me, ah! I like to get it everywhere, apparently. I just spilt it all. <laughs> okay, well that's great. So now that we've mixed it, I'll probably need to add a little bit more buffalo sauce later. But now we can add in vegan chicken. Ooh. Now I should have greased the bottom of the air fryer tray. I always forget to do this. Um, there we go. So some parts might be stuck together. Try to remember to like, you know, <laughs> to grease it, okay. All right, you guys, I mean, look at this buffalo chicken. Doesn't that look legit? But again, you don't have to make it into clumps like mine. You can just coat your soy curls without like making it into clumps, it's up to you, okay. But now I think we can just like, Throw it on top. <laughs> Let's just like go for it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you guys. You guys. Come on. So this is just about like half the chicken. I have more of the chicken. But I think this is enough for now. You guys, this looks so good. Mm. Okay. I'm going to have to try this immediately. You guys so i actually got an idea so you don't have to do this part this is optional but i thought it would be fun to drizzle on some vegan mayo okay here's what we're gonna do we're just gonna take some vegan mayo i'm just gonna take like maybe about not much like a tablespoon put it in a bowl okay and then just add in just like a small amount of water like maybe equal amounts of water maybe not even okay we're just gonna thin it out basically okay well maybe that's a little bit too much water we're basically making a vegan mayo drizzle okay so we're making a nice mayo drizzle. Again, this part is totally optional. You don't have to do this, but I thought it'd be nice, you know? And then let's see, let's see. Hmm, do I wanna thin it out more? I don't know. Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, I want a little more mayo. This is just mainly for presentation purposes, but I mean, it'll be tasty too. Or if you have like a vegan ranch, you can throw that on top. Ooh, ooh, here we go. This is the kind of consistency we're looking for. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Guys, ooh, this would be so good for like a potluck. Look at that, you guys. Come on, you guys, that looks fantastic, does it not? And then just for fun, we're just gonna add a few little things of parsley. Adds a nice little color, pop of color. We gotta always go for that green pop of color, my friends. Um, I love adding a little green garnish on top of our food, on top of my food. Yay, there you go, that's how you make it. Now we gotta taste it, okay. <laughs> I mean, does this not look epic? I think it does, but I really wanna taste test it to see how it tastes. So first, you know, we gotta get a good bite with all the goodness, okay? Ooh, you guys! I'm so excited. Okay, cheers! 
Mm. Oh my god. That chicken has a really nice kind of crispy coating, a thick coating. And honestly, I feel like you could fool people. Guys, I feel like people would not know this is not chicken, okay? It's so good. You have to make this. You have to make this. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. You absolutely have to make this, you guys. It is so delicious. I think it'd be perfect for a potluck, a party, just a regular dinner, okay? It is so, so good, and I think anyone that enjoys buffalo sauce on a good vegan mac and cheese would love it. These two things come together. They are so mates, okay? These are so mates. Anyways, if you guys wanna make this, I will have the recipe written in a blog post, linked down below. So don't forget to check that out. And of course, give me a little five-star review if you do end up making this and loving it. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!